I'm Becky Durham. I'm the pastor of Peace Presbyterian Church in Fayetteville, North Carolina, and this is the Wednesday Word for August 19th. This Sunday morning, we will read together from Acts chapter 12, verses 1 through 18. Listen now for the word of God. About that time, King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with the sword. After he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of unleavened bread. When he had seized him, he put him in prison and handed him over to four squads of soldiers to guard him, intending to bring him out to the people after the Passover. While Peter was kept in prison, the church prayed fervently to God for him. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared, and light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him up, saying, Get up quickly, and the chains fell off his wrist. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I'm sure that the Lord has sent an angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod and from all, the Jewish, and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. As soon as he realized this, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose other name was Mark, where many had gathered and were praying. When he knocked on the outer gate, a maid named Rhoda came to answer. On recognizing Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that instead of opening the gate, she ran in and announced that Peter was standing at the gate. They said to her, You are out of your mind. But she insisted that it was so. They said, It's his angel. Meanwhile, Peter continued knocking, and when they opened the gate, they saw him and were amazed. He motioned to them with his hand to be silent and described for them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he added, tell this to James and the believers. Then he left and went to another place. When morning came, there was no small commotion among the soldiers over what had become of Peter. When Herod had searched for him and could not find him, he examined the guards and ordered them to be put to death. Then he went down from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This coming Sunday, Peace Presbyterian Church will gather on Zoom around 11 o'clock. We have a time of gathering at 1045, and we begin our worship service at 1105. We would love to have you join us, and if you would like to, we invite you to come to our church website, Peace pcnc.org or comment on this video reach out to us in some way and we will get you that link information if you're looking for a church to call home or a place to consider the miracle working of god i hope that you'll join us may god bless you and keep you this day and always